Hello guys, how are you? In today's video, I'm going to talk about Bender's decomposition. It is an algorithm to, uh, you know, overcome the complex, uh, you know, process of solving, for example, mixed integer linear programming problems, where, uh, you know, our problem is, uh, you know, blocked, and uh, we can look at it, uh, you know, as uh, in block structure. Uh, for example, uh, just uh, think about this problem. We have integer variables. X uh, is a vector of integer variables and Y is a vector of real variables. Uh, this problem is, uh, you know, complex since if, uh, you know, these integer variables uh, you know, didn't exist, then uh, we uh, simply uh, perform, the, uh, then we would simply perform the, uh, you know, simplex algorithm and uh, can find the solution easily. Uh, but uh, if uh, y variable doesn't exist, then, you know, we again simply, for example, perform um, cutting plane algorithm to solve the problem but now that uh, you know the variables are mixed together the integer variables and uh, you know uh, real variables and since our our problem is linear programming problem then uh, it is easy to you know see look at uh, this problem as a block structure problem therefore we can uh, you know perform Bender's decomposition where it uh, you know iteratively solves two uh, sets of problems uh, sub problem and master problem uh, in the following slides I'm going to uh, you know introduce what is the uh, sub problem and master problem. Therefore, moving forward, uh, here we have uh, this sub problem. How to form the sub problem from the original problem? The original problem is this, uh, you know, mixed integer linear programming problem. Okay, to form the objective function of the sub problem, we simply uh, drop the x part of the objective function of the original problem and uh, simply uh, you know we leave this part y part real uh, variables uh, this part that contains uh, you know real variables as our objective function of the sub problem and to form the constraints this set of constraints we you know uh, simply again drop the constraints that have only uh, integer variables as their variables. Uh, therefore, we drop these set of these set of uh, constraints, and uh, you know we take we take this x part to the other part, and we initialize uh, the you know variable x. Okay, uh, therefore we moved this part to the right hand side of the constraint and we initialized it by x hat. Then there's the composition uh, says that the solution of this problem is the upper bound for uh, you know uh, the uh, transpose y star where y star is the solution, the y solution of the original problem. Therefore, the solution achieved from this part is upper bound for this uh, y part, uh, this solution, y part solution of the original problem. Okay. Therefore, uh, you know, uh, keep this uh, in your mind. And uh, we are going to talk about master problem. How to form the master problem? In order to form its objective function, we, uh, you know, um, set 
alpha, we replace this uh, D transpose Y uh, with alpha and uh, you know form its uh, objective function and uh, we simply you know take those constraints that have only x variables uh, as their variables therefore w x uh, less than q is uh, you know the set of constraints that uh, you know uh, has to appear here and uh, what what above this part okay this part say that this part says that alpha must be greater than lambda transpose dot b minus ax but what is lambda and uh, how we form this part okay lambda is the vector of variables of the dual problem for uh, you know the sub problem therefore if we suppose that lambda is the variable of dual problem for this problem we simply uh, you know multiply lambda with this b minus ax but instead of x hat we have x itself i mean uh, here x is not constant but lambda is constant since uh, we solve the dual problem of this problem and uh, you know achieve the solutions get the solutions of uh, the dual problem i mean the solution for lambda the optimal solution for lambda and uh, you know we substitute the values the optimal solution for lambda here therefore this is not nonlinear constraint this is linear and uh, in this constraint uh, only alpha and x are our uh, you know, variables but the achieved solution for alpha from this master problem is lower bound for d transpose y star again y star is the solution y part solution for the uh, you know original problem okay therefore we have uh, this part lower bound comes from master problem and upper bound comes uh, from sub problem but they uh, you know um, but one of the interesting things about Bender's algorithm um, is that when uh, you know we iterate um, the algorithm, when uh, we perform the algorithm many times, several times, these upper bond and lower bond get close together, and uh, it can be a assessment way for. Uh, they for when to finish the algorithm. From okay, moving forward, we reach to the algorithm. In step zero, we initialize x and set the lower bound as minus infinity. Therefore, uh, in step zero, we have these operations. In step one, we solve the you know sub problem and it's dual and update the upper bound as the solution of the sub problem and more we get the solution of the dual problem and in step 2 we check if uh, this distance between upper bound and lower bond uh, you know meet uh, meets the uh, criteria to stop the process if not, we move to step 3 and form the master problem and find x and alpha and then uh, you know, update lower bond by this uh, alpha found from the master problem and uh, moreover substitute uh, x in the sub problem, uh, re replace x hat with a newly recently found uh, value for x. 
Okay, now I am going to, uh, you know, form the sub problem and master problem in uh, an easy, let's show an easy example. And I would like to, uh, you know, go uh, with uh, two stairs of the uh, when there's the composition algorithm. In this problem, uh, we have only one integer variable. Uh, this is only one variable, x integer variable, and we have ten real variables and. Uh, this is our first constraint, and these are, uh, you know, 10 remaining constraints. Okay, in first iteration, we first uh, initialize x hat by 0 and set lower bound to be minus infinity. In step 1, we form the sub problem. To form the object function of the sub problem, we, uh, you know, dropped this part and uh, you know here uh, to form this constraint uh, in this constraint we you know took uh, this x part to the right hand side and you know initialize it by 0 and uh, the remaining constraints uh, you know are left unchanged since uh, they don't have the variable x okay and by uh, going through the solution of this problem we update the optim uh, we update the upper bound and moreover we find the lambda uh, the solution for lambda the dual problem and in step three, uh, you know, we form the master problem. Its object function is simply, you know, is achieved by substituting alpha instead of the y part in the original problem. Therefore, we substituted y instead of this part, this sigma, and therefore its object function. Uh, you know, becomes alpha minus 1.045x. And uh, we have only one Bender's cut, Bender's optimality cut. First Bender's optimality cut. But how to form this Bender's optimality cut? Uh, this, this is, at the right hand side is the you know objective function of the dual problem for uh, this sub problem. Therefore, we multiply lambda one, lambda sub, uh, subscript uh, one uh, times one thousand minus x hat. Here it is, uh, and instead of x hat, we replaced uh, x and uh, lambda i times 100 uh, you know and we have a summation over uh, lambda i times 100 here it is uh, i from 2 up to 10 this is our first Bender's uh, optimality cut the solution of this problem for alpha forms lower bound and uh, you know we can get the uh, new value for x hat in the second iteration uh, we form this problem but now instead of the older x hat we have uh, this x hat found from the first iteration of the master problem therefore uh, the only change is that we replace x hat with the recently found x from the master problem from the first iteration and the solution of the objective function of this problem uh, forms our upper bound 
and here we check if uh, upper bound minus lower bound meets the criteria to stop the process if not we continue uh, to form the master problem and again we have the master problem but uh, we have a major difference we added second bender's optimality cut uh, we you know uh, maintain the first bender's optimality cut for the second iteration for the master problem of the second iteration and moreover we uh, add second bender's optimality cut not that notice that this bender's cut is uh, completely different from the first bender's cut since these uh, you know dual variables or uh, the solution of these dual variables are different therefore this and these cuts are different the solution for alpha forms the lower bound and again we update x hat therefore we can, uh, you know, process the iterations to, uh, you know, get better solutions. And finally, when uh, we are happy with the criteria, uh, with uh, the distance between the lower bond and upper bond, uh, we stop the problem, and then our solution is x at and y. And here I finish this lesson. Thank you so much for uh, watching.